Shades of Grey. The show learns its lesson from the blunder of season one and finishes out with a strong finale. <laughs> the episode starts out with Jordy and Riker down on Dagobah, and Riker gets stuck by something in his calf. We don't know why they're down there, or what's going on, or where they are. Pulaski beams down, and I like O'Brien's joke. I hope these are the right coordinates. Just kidding, Doctor. I would have done that too. I don't like her. Yeah, I know. When she gets down to the planet, instead of moving to a dry area, Pulaski examines Riker while standing in the middle of a stream. Whatever stung him put microbes in his nervous system. They are multiplying, they're fusing to his nerves at the molecular level, and they can't be removed. Pulaski says that the unknown microorganism is not a bacteria and not a virus, but with the elements of both. That doesn't make any sense. Pulaski is proving to be just as bad of a doctor as Beverly. They apparently just make stuff up on the spot and try to pass it off as knowledge. So in typical dumb decision making, Jordy decides he is going back down with Data instead of just Data by himself. Because I know exactly where Commander Riker was when it happened. Wouldn't the exact coordinates be in the transporter console? Didn't they just beam everybody up? Why is anybody going down at all? Send a freaking probe, scan from the surface, do something besides the dumbest possible choice. When they bring the sample back up, Jordy's walking around with that thing right out in the open. Put it in a jar or something, you idiot. <laughs> when Riker's in sickbay, he says, These things happen. At least expected. I'm surprised they don't happen more often. I agree. Intelligent people learn from mistakes and they try to act intelligently in the first place. These characters do the opposite of those things. Then there's a bunch of talking that doesn't matter about how worried everybody is, and there's no emotional weight to any of it. And then the entire rest of the episode is flashbacks, not just from season two, but season one as well. And these clips are so long. It reminds us of crappy episodes better left forgotten. Riker makes a lot of jokes while he's in sickbay. At one point he says he wouldn't want to lose his sense of humor. But he doesn't usually make all those jokes. They seem very out of character. Pulaski figures out that intensifying Riker's memory recall affects how the microbes metabolize or some dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> at one point, Pulaski tries to show off by pushing buttons on a panel without looking. I mean, at one point, she doesn't even touch the button. <laughs> <laughs> she also figures out that positive memories make the microbes grow and negative memories will purge them, so she decides to shove bad memories through his brain, but a good one slips in once in a while. We won't hurt you, but we must help them. <laughs> then they magically eradicate the infection. And then they take an even bigger step backwards by having a series of idiotic jokes at the end, and they even bring back that dumb music from season one. The Admiral and I were worried about you. Captain. I do not believe you have the authority to promote me to the rank of Admiral. Shades of shit. I'm sorry, shades of gray overall. <laughs> well, I was going to say the most potentially interesting part of this episode is the title, but I don't know what it means in relation to what happens in the episode. What does that have to do with the episode? Well, if you told me it was a Riker episode and you said it's shades of gray, I would immediately think of 50 shades of gray and weird sex stuff with Riker. That would have been a better episode than what we got, I'm sure. I would give this episode an F+. The plus is there because there were some good jokes. Completely pointless episode. F. It sucked. The reason this episode was so cheap is that they had a limited budget for the entire season. They had gone over budget on some earlier episodes, so they had to make this one as cheaply and quickly as possible. There's nothing else to say.